Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Cool, so we're back and I found the gray uh, flowers that I needed. I found seven of them. Uh, and one way, if you needed to reproduce them, what you could do is you could plant them in petal form into the ground and then use bone meal on them and be sure to use shears to uh, uh, what's it called to uh, harvest them or else you're going to destroy it because it makes the tall ones so let me go down here real quick and I'll show you real quick let me get rid of all this in here one two three four you're I'm planting the petals and then I'm using the bone meal there, 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 and it makes tall ones, and then you have to use shears to cut them, and it makes, gives you the tall flowers, which turn into four a piece. So there we go. I just uh, more or less duped them to uh, 32 of them for now. So that's how you, when you have mystical flowers, you don't have to go hunting for new ones. You just replicate them with the bone meal, for example. So now that we have the uh, mystical gray, we can make a uh, mystical gray petal block. And then what we were making was the mana pool. Mana pool. And we can do this and mana pool. So now we have a mana pool. Uh, and I'm going to place this guy over here put you right there. We have mana pool and we're getting reverse quests. We got mana steel from our uh, mob farm. Grab that. And we have the mana pool. We'll grab that. And we have living wood now, so we'll grab that. And let's see what we're going to do next. We need to make a mana spreader, which this is pretty cool. Now we made the mana pool. We need the mana spreader. And the mana spreader requires illumination powder which requires night ore and glowstone and aquamarine and it's great it's nighttime now so let's grab some glowstone whoops good thing I have flight I'll grab the glowstone let's see where are you glowstone did I not grab you I could have sworn I grabbed you I have night ore I must have forgotten the glowstone, so let's pop back really quick, grab glowstone, and go back, whoop, and let's see if I can make illumination powder. I love that this starlight bar is full. Uh, and Soapy Salmon, welcome to the Twitch chat, how are you? Really happy that you're here. Let's see, I need to make illumination powder. There it is, and plus, and let's whack it with the resonating wand real quick. Bam. And we have illumination powder, perfect. So the illumination powder is required to make the uh, mana spreader. And you had to do Thomcraft to at least Nitor uh, to get the illumination powder. And the glimmering level living wood requires living wood and glowstone dust, so we'll make that as well. And that is a Batania thing, so you also need to have uh, progressed towards living wood. So let's grab living wood and this, and we only need two. I ran out of living wood, so let's grab the wood. No, I have wood right here. Why did it only do... Maybe because I didn't shift click it. So, that, and this, and we'll grab a second one, and then what we can do is we need a lime petal block. A uh, lime petal block. Soapy salmon says saw some cool dragon suit in the thumbnail and couldn't click on 
I'm not sure what thumbnail you mean. So let's see, line pedal block. Uh, and check this. We have lime and those. Let me see, do I have a tall one? I do have a tall one, so I'll get rid of the tall one first. Four. And then uh, we need five more. Which I just noticed that I am full on. Don't need tomato seeds. I don't need the lilac. All right. Now I need one, two, three. Will make me six. There we go. We have ten. And then I'll move this out of the way and make a lime petal block. Bam and a mana spreader. Bam. Cool. Oh, the thumbnail on my stream. See, I don't know yet what determines what uh, chooses the thumbnail on Twitch when you're looking at channels. But yeah, the armor that I'm using is cosmetic. It is red dragon armor, which is made from red dragon scales which come from killing red dragons, which are part of the fire and ice mod. So any mod pack that has fire and ice in it should have dragons in it, and that's how you get these armors from slaying the dragons. But some mod packs make the dragons harder than others, so be very careful, they will destroy you. And in my first episode uh, that I uploaded from this series on YouTube, both uh, Trin and I were just casually going through a village when a green dragon fell on our head and completely ruined our day, but it made a very, very entertaining episode. So if you're interested, I have the link to my YouTube uh, right under my channel that you're watching right now. And I have about 65 episodes up right now. I just recently changed my format to try to do 30 minute episodes. So. Hopefully the one hour episodes won't deter you, but uh, they progressively get better because I just started this hobby. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, better at everything I do, but specifically this hobby for me. Uh, so let me jump back into this so we can make some more progress. Sturdy casings, cool. A wind generator is cool. Overclockers, I just set those to autocraft, so. But 12 overclockers, I won't say no to that. Uh, let's see. I'll put the quest rewards into the ender pouch because I don't need that stuff right now. It looks like it gave me two wind generators. That's pretty cool. Would have been really awesome to have at the uh, the very beginning of the game. So marble, let's scroll the dank null to... Come on. Dirt. And what I want to do is this and I'll put one mana spreader here and I'm planning on totally planning on making a second oh yeah at the very beginning I did have music but uh, I kept getting tagged with copyright infringement so I was like mm, I'm just none of the other youtubers use music so I was like I'm just going to stop using music plus uh, it, it editing takes a lot of time surprisingly and if I don't worry about music I can edit the videos and get them up faster open crate pulse mana spreader we need a wand of the forest so let's make that real quick uh, and we can do this living wood uh, I let go just too slow boom and boom and then let's grab living wood and living rock and let me grab and resupply living wood living rock I need to make some more of this I grab the spruce toss the spruce in here and I'm not a hundred percent sure I think the yeah there we go. I'm not I don't think it works instantly. Oh, well, I had a lot of infused wood. I put it in my dank null. That's why I wasn't finding it. 
and let's surround these guys with some more wood. And then we can go back to making the living wood. Let's see, is it this? Nope. Wanda the forest. And I need three twigs. Okay, so it just needed to be up higher. One. Infused wood, that's probably why. Two and three. And then let's see, I know I can use any color petals that I want. And my two favorite colors are magenta. And I seriously don't have any purple. OMG. So let's do my second favorite, which is, oh, there are no cyan, are there? Well, wait, let me look, Wand of the Forest. light blue light blue and magenta I'll do that and I'll grab a tall and I'll put this one back and let's break these two down four and four and I'll go with uh, my second favorite color and Trin's favorite color I'll do that and then do I want it Pedal down like that. Mm. That. That looks nice. I like that. So now we have a wand of the forest. And what I'm going to do is, oh, it's shooting in totally the wrong direction. I'll right click you. I'll shift right click you. And then right click you. And then shift right click you. Okay. So shift right click and then shift right click puts it in where it belongs. So let's get rid of this dirt. And now it is linked up to the mana that is pumped into the mana spreader goes into the mana pool. So we can get the loot chest for the Wand of the Forest. And Runic Altar is something that I'm excited for making. And we definitely need to start making mana. So let's see, it wants me to make a Hopper Hawk. It wants me to make an endo flame. That's good because I really wanted to make the endo flame. Let's see, can I access it from here to see what the. Okay, so it's two brown, a red, and a light gray. And two brown. Well, that doubles. So that's two. I'll do one for now. It needed a light gray, which I moved into this here. Light gray, and I need a red. And let's break these up, and these up. And so that I don't get confused, I'll put one of you up. And I'll put the illumination powder up, the petal, the da, that, this, this the rock crystal, and let's see. I, I need two brown, a light gray, and a red, and a seed. Boom! Gives me an endo flame, perfect. The endo flames I'm going to put around the mana spreader like so, and with the one to the forest, let's see. You are, it says checkpoint, to the mana spreader, but it, yeah, 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 the check mark means it's already attached. So I don't need to uh, shift right click and attach this. What does that say? Unknown status? Let me just do it anyway. Unknown status. But I mean, that check mark there means it's connected. And what's great about the endo flames is they run off of coal. So if I grab a, let's make a stack. You can either throw the coal one at a time, or you can throw a coal, a uh, block of coal works as well. So let's toss it a block of coal. It'll eat it, hom noms. And 
I'll check back in a little bit and see if this is filled up. Up, oh, already did. So it's slowly filling up with mana now. What I'm gonna do is I already have this set up. Uh, I have, where did I stick it? Into the end, no, I put it into the, keep forgetting that I have this storage crate here. I have a precision dropper. I have a pressure plate. I have redstone. Uh, so it will drop coal whenever I'm uh, not physically near it. It will continue. So uh, before I start doing other goofy things, let me just set that up. Uh, one thing I should do for right now is I need to turn off my ring of magnetization. And if you didn't know, this little bobble, this like you don't need to unequip the item. You just click this button here and it turns it off, just like the goggles as well. Uh, so that should turn off the ring of magnetization. So if I set up a dropper, let's do this, 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 here, here, and I didn't bring it with me. We'll grab the stuff I need. And this is always the goofy part, is trying to get the the uh, this guy to be facing the right direction, which I just try to do it like this. Merp. Nice. First try. That'll be the dropper. And then under it, I'll put the pressure plate. And I need that, which I sh can... Let me do marble. I want it to look pretty. So dirt, boss salt, we got moon turf, marble, like so. And let's see, please go in the right direction. Okay, okay, it went the wrong direction, wonderful. So let me see if I can pull it like this. Get rid of the redstone. I need that. And I need that, because I need it to come out this way. Get rid of that. Okay. Let me do it. Get rid of this. And let's see if I can... I cannot click that, but I can not click that either. So, okay, so it can't go down two blocks. So let me do that, this, 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 whoa, Whew, I'm glad I wasn't vein mining. And then here, See, like that, it's got to be a conflict right there, because it's no longer attached. Being difficult, buddy. I just want you to run a circle. Just to make this faster, I'm going to make sure that this is like this. This is how it needs to be touching. Because if I've had a mistake where it went the other direction, it doesn't count as being touching the device. So I'm going to do this for now. And then, oh yeah, well maybe I'll, I'll just add, instead of cutting this or changing this, I'll just add marble and alternate the design a little bit more. So that should work now. My magnetization should be off. Let me grab the stacks. Come on, buddy. Like that like that, and like this, and now six. And let's see, with my ring of magnetization off. Nope, it's still on. So that, uh, forget what I said, it doesn't turn it on and off, it just changes the cosmetic for it, unfortunately. You have to unequip it. So there's those five, and it should eat one, drop one, and, uh, when, it, when the flower eats one, it'll release the pressure plate, which will turn off the redstone signal, which will turn the machine on again. 
to drop another piece of coal which will land on the uh, pressure plate which will turn on the redstone signal which will turn off blah 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 that's how it works uh, biggest most important thing is this redstone when you lay it it needs to be pointed into the machine because if it's parallel to the machine it's not touching and it won't work uh, so now we have a uh, semi-automated mana going on for right now let's grab the next quest so we have endoflame so now we have mana generating right now and maybe I should check out what we're working on now I'll open up some chests now that we have these cool rewards again ice pillar corned beef not eaten yet that's what I like corned beef give me more of those lavender hearts and one more loot chest uh, scanner unfortunately I already made that a long time ago and I don't think we need more than one so corned beef the ice pillars and I'll get rid of the coal and the redstone and the seeds we have a mineral torch oh let me check and see f6 yeah, I gotta put the torch back. I'll put you right there. Cool. All right, and now let's see quest rewards or quest book. Let's check out astral sorcery again. I wanted to make the looking glass. That's what I was working towards. And the looking glass. Oh yeah, what we had a problem with was we wanted to make the glass lens which is luminous crafting table with mana glass and mana glass is glass thrown into the mana pool so what we need is one two three four five six glass at the minimum uh, let's grab one two three four five six and see do we have enough in there yet six wonderful woot so now we can take that mana glass and mana glass pane and it's nighttime perfect timing let's grab the looking glass the glass lens and we're missing quicksilver we're missing the mirrored glass and the aquamarine the mirrored glass I have from Thomcraft already made in a previous episode the Quicksilver and uh, the Aquamarine and now I should be able to do schwoobity whoop there it shows it highlighted and BAM excellent so now we have the lens which I also need to make in this whoa and looking glass we need sticks gold and a piece of wood sticks gold wood and looking glass and Chris and you cool we got that and we need that to make let me click on this it's faster that and you we need that for a telescope which we can just I maybe we can just toss it right back in huh this and use and plus and Chris and you as well boom taking a little bit longer but that's cool I'll wait for that for a second. Oh wow, that one aquamarine has been lasting a long time. So now we have the telescope. And that should be double dinger right there, right? Looking glass. Oh, and this one require. Oh yeah, the starlight crafting altar. I realized that making it doesn't count as you holding it, so I have to hold it to get the quest. Silly. I'll put you back and because of that now we have the telescope as well 
Nice. And... Whoa, okay. Starlight crafting. We got two more of those. We can make a grindstone. Now we can get rid of the mana spreader. And let's make a grindstone since it's a quest. And the grindstone's going to be needed to make uh, better crystals in the future. So grindstone requires marble. Let me grab some chiseled marble, like one piece, sounds fine. And the grindstone, let's plus you, and we'll hit you with the stick as well. Bam. This is all going pretty well, and that was fast too. So let's put our telescope down, and I'll put you down into the edge over here. That's cool. You can look at the night sky, and if you, the constellations that you've already seen, you can draw, which I'm not drawing one, I'm just messing around. I, I was trying to see if I can, how do you move it? Man, I'm going to have to look on, how do you move it? That I don't know. But I'll look that up and find some other constellations on a later. Hmm. I wonder if it auto highlights the constellations already. But I'll look into that later. I don't know enough about it right now to struggle through it. We got a grindstone. That is pretty sweet. I'll put you, I guess I'll put you there. It is awfully close, but that's fine. So we have the grindstone. And I really wanted to make this linking tool real quick. So let's see, linking tool, I have that one up. I need a rock crystal and two more wood. So let me grab two wood and a rock crystal. And let's put you in to link and there we go. Three aquamarines are still going strong. The endo flame, I can see it from here, is still lit. We got the linking tool. Perfect. This is what I was looking forward to because the issue that Trin ran on her stream was she was unable to link iron ore. And I really wanted to get to that point so that I can see if I have that problem too. Star metal ore is iron ore that has received a sufficient amount of focused starlight. So this is definitely where I wanted to get to today. I had to do this. It's been driving me crazy. I'll grab the ender book. And I'll go back. Ooh, where am I going to go? Yeah, sorting facility. I need to grab some iron. I have all my ores over here. And let's see. Come on, flight iron. Nope. Shift and spacebar. Okay, I got a stack of iron. Let's teleport back real quick to astral. And then put the iron here. Man, I need to clear out some of my space before I do this. I'll put the lexica botania and the astral tome away, the mana glass, the aquamarine, I'll put this stuff up just for right now. Put this up. Flower pouch. Resonating wand. The bucket. Loot chests. I'll move this over here. So iron ore. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to also look into it to see if... Uh, if I can do something other than what I'm going to do right now and have it work towards linking. There's one. Go away. I'm gonna right click you. Right click you. It's, it says linked collector crystal to a block. And it has changed to star metal instantly. So I am super frustrated for Trin that it didn't work. Like why didn't it work on hers? 
she, I'm pretty sure she did exactly the same thing I did. So now that bottom one is linked. So now link that, link this, link three, link four. One, two, three, four, five. So now five of them should be linked up. And we got the quest dinger. Stopped linking. I know that it takes longer if you do more than one iron. Let me see, can I, if I shift, unlinked all links, okay. Stopped linking. Let me try something else out. Link, link. I'm holding the linking rod. Okay, it changed. Let me try something else. I'm going to put this down and I'm not going to hold the linking rod. And I'm curious to see if it will only change. Nope, it changed. So that is wrong as well. So maybe it's a faulty crystal because I watched her do this exactly the same way I did and it did not work. So that's super frustrating. I'm going to put down three. I'm going to try to do a horizontal better. Link, link, link. Whoa. Four, five, link, 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 link. Cool. And I know it takes longer to turn because it's it's divided by five now. So it's going to take five times longer from what I understand. It's going to take five times longer to turn this iron ore into star metal because now the total is going to be spread between the five, not the one that I was making. But star metal ore <clears throat> and let me check one thing now we have the linking tool we can get rid of that let me check the uh, the use on star metal ore to make sure it's smelted directly into a star metal ingot two arc furnace can make two the crusher turns it into stardust pulverizer the induction smelter with rich slag turns it into three. Pyro concentrator, the magma crucible. You can throw it in the crucible, that'd be a waste. Molten Austro star metal sounds cool too. Grindstone makes one. The, okay, cool. So the chemical dissolution chamber turns it into star metal slurry. Clean star metal slurry, it makes one, which makes one. Huh, so does it not double? Because, huh. So you throw a rock crystal and a stardust into liquid starlight, it turns into celestial crystal clusters. So that's the next important part to be made. Let's see. See, I don't like when I scroll away, it says stopped linking. So we have the star metal. And we have the loot chest for the star metal. And let's make the stardust real quick and then call it on that before I get too greedy and go over my limit. So those, yeah, those all turned into star metals now. So let's put these three on top. And let me vein mine it. Okay, so it does not fortune. So I have to process them. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. So I'll set that. And then uh, I'll process the star metal ore. Uh, let's use the grindstone just to be within the mod for right now. 
and then I can I know that there's planets that we could visit that uh, you can make star metal on okay how do you use it okay yeah you just right click it and then you can you, you have to have an open hand to take it shift okay you gotta shift take it and right shift right right click and shift cool so there we have stardust um, grab the stardust and let's open up these loot chests and call it a day we got silky jewel cool I don't need any more modifiers though sacred oak sapling sounds kinda cool reinforcement modifier I can probably put to use mint chocolate chip I've already eaten reinforced conversion kit that's nice uh, another book and quill and lime jelly sandwich which I've already uh, I've already eaten and also that lime jelly looks disgusting it looks like something toxic out of Futurama so here let me pan out and show you the progress on astral for today uh, I like that yesterday I showed just the small platform and today I can show this and make sure that my webcam picture isn't in the way cool so we made a lot of super hasty uh, under 30 minute progress in Astral Sorcery. Uh, the video will be rendered and put onto YouTube. Channel is under my stream that's going on right now. I play every door, uh, every door, every day from four to five. So catch me on tomorrow and thank you so much for watching.